my ebook, The Curly Girl's Guide to Hair Care Ingredients, is finally available. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. I'm going to make a dedicated video for that ebook, but if you've been waiting for it, you may get your hands on it, you can check it out now. The link is below, The Curly Girl's Guide to Hair Care Ingredients. In this video, we are going to be discussing Diva Curl and all the things, all the things that are going on right now with that brand. And I've been getting so many requests on Instagram and on YouTube, like Tanya, make a video from a cosmetic chemist perspective, what is really going on. So first of all, my first impression of all of this that's taking place, I was actually kind of surprised and shocked because this brand is huge. I mean, this brand is super huge. You see it everywhere. And it's the last thing you think about what a very popular brand. And to my knowledge, women are using the product. And I guess over time, they're seeing that their hair texture is changing. But ultimately, some of them, a lot of them actually, from what I've been hearing, are losing hair, like clumps of hair. And I believe there's like a Facebook group where women, like thousands of women are part of this group. And they're talking about their hair loss and they're showing photos and I'm like oh my gosh so it's not like one person or two you know people it's like multiple people who are experiencing this dilemma so you know me I'm like okay let's look at the ingredients what is inside the product what could be causing this I mean what's going on so I go on the website and I look at the ingredient list and as I'm looking at it I'm realizing there's nothing on here that raises a red flag for me. I mean, these are ingredients like water and glycerin and acetyl alcohol, which is a thickener, and benzoyl chloride, which is a emulsifier and conditioning agent, and isopropyl palmitate, which is an ester and emollient. These are ingredients that I work with every single day. I've made products with these ingredients. What can be the issue? Because after those ingredients, you have your extracts and you have your perfume or your fragrance and your preservative and that's the whole entire ingredient list. So what dawned upon me is that the issue that I believe is, once again, this is my opinion, is that women are not cleansing their hair. Even though it is advertised as a no poo cleanser, you're really not getting much cleansing going on here because it's really a, it's really just a conditioner. So women are going prolonged periods without effectively cleansing their scalp. And this is kind of one of the issues I have with the whole curly girl method, and that's a whole nother video, but the whole thing about not using shampoo. Imagine you going weeks, months, without cleansing your body. The scalp is part of our body. It's, the scalp is part of our skin. Imagine if every day, I ain't, you know, I ain't putting no cleanser on, I'm just gonna put some lotion on, baby oil and some lotion every single day. Do you, can you imagine the amount of buildup my skin would have, the amount of irritation, inflammation, and rashes my skin would have because I have all this guck on my skin, I'm not cleansing my body? The same thing is happening with the hair. Now here's what happened. There's a scalp condition called folliculitis. Now with folliculitis, that is the inflammation of the scalp. A lot of that is caused by buildup of oils, dirt, um, environmental factors, things that need to be cleansed from our scalp. However, when there's a continuous buildup of that, our pores can get clogged up. And when that happens, that can lead to hair loss. And when I say hair loss, I mean like hair from the scalp, like loss, like chunks of hair. So my opinion, I think women who are experiencing hair loss from using this product is it's potentially because of the fact that they have not been effectively cleansing their hair to the point that they're losing their hair due to folliculitis. I myself, as a cosmetic chemist, I have never, um, I haven't uh, developed products for Diva Curl, so I won't talk too much about the brand, but for the women who are experiencing this and who are kind of they're suffering from this because they're losing their hair. I feel for you guys. I can't imagine going through that. Um, just know that I believe you guys can recover from this. But ultimately, guys, you have to cleanse your hair. That whatever you're using as a shampoo or a cleansing method has a cleansing surfactant.
reactant like coco meat or propyl betaine, dequaglucoside, uh, things like that. And I'll list some um, down in the description below, but make sure that you guys are cleansing your scalp and not just slapping oils and conditioner on your hair and putting it on your scalp. That just causes more buildup and you do not want that, okay? So I hope this has shed some light. I'm so interested to see where this is gonna go, what's going to happen with the Diva Curl brand. So, yeah, so if you have any more questions, uh, let me know. I have a question for you though. Have you used Diva Curl products? Have you experienced this? Are you aware of all of this that's going on, these lawsuits and stuff like that? Do you know someone who's experiencing hair loss from this brand? Let me know below. Uh, make sure your notifications are on to stay in the loop on more videos like this. My next one, I think it's gonna be on the Curly Girl Method. I have so many concerns with that method. And then number two, we're gonna talk about parabens. I mean, it's gonna be dope. So make sure notifications are on. Once again, don't forget to get the Curly Girl's Guide to Hair Care Ingredients. It is available now. Make sure you check out the link below. Get this guide, guys. It's going to be so amazing. I've been seeing you guys ordering it and looking at your reviews that you've been sending me. Thank you so much. You don't want to miss this. Like, get the guide, okay? So I love you guys, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.